हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू डॉक्टर अरशद नदीम आवान अल्ट्रासाउंड टीचिंग वीडियोस होप यू आर ऑल ओके होप यू आर ऑल एंजॉइंग योर लाइफ होप यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग अल्ट्रासाउंड एंड टुडे माय टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज मेनोरेजिया एंड मेट्रोरेजिया फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन वट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द मेनोरेजिया एंड मेट्रोरेजिया इज मेनोरेजिया वेन देयर इज ब्लीडिंग विद इन द शेड्यूल्ड पीरियड लाइक अ लेडी she is bleeding for 4 days and within these 4 days she has excess amount of bleed so that would be called as menorrhagia but metrorrhagia is uh, the term applied when there is bleeding regardless of their menstrual cycle like she bleeds for 4 days uh, but uh, out of these 4 days she explains that i have increased bleeding so that would be called as an metrorrhagia metrorrhagia mean excess of bleeding out of the menstrual cycle so this is the difference between the menorrhagia and the metrorrhagia so for the causes of the uh, metrorrhagia are concerned there are certain causes like if there is a recent pregnancy it's likely that there may be metrorrhagia or if there is any uh, systemic abnormalities like in case of uh, liver abnormalities in case of uh, blood dyscrasis like hemolytic anemias or certain type of uh, uh if, where the platelets drops down or there is some sort of a leukemia so there will be uh, menstrual abnormality and metrorrhagia will ensues beside this in case of uh, endometrial hyperplasia endometrial polyps there will be metrorrhagia uh, if there is iucd intrauterine contraceptive device mild positioning if there is mild positioning so again there will be metrorrhagia and if there is any uh, abnormality related to the cesarean section scar so this would lead to metrorrhagia so these are certain causes so uh, i have given you the list go through all that list keep in your mind when the patient complains accordingly look for all these abnormalities and you will detect the abnormality so let like, look for the differential diagnosis of the metrorrhagia the condition when there is excessive bleeding without a uh, menstrual cycle if within the menstrual cycle bleeding increases that is called as menorrhagia while in metrorrhagia if the bleeding occurs without the menstrual cycle duration that is metrorrhagia so metrorrhagia may be because of the pregnancy if there is pregnancy intrauterine or extrauterine or ectopic pregnancy there may likely be metrorrhagia in systemic diseases like in liver diseases or certain blood abnormalities it will give rise to metrorrhagia due to endometrial polyps or hyperplasia uh, this is likely occur that there will be metrorrhagia increased bleeding without menstrual cycle endometrial cancer is one of the major reason and indication for the metrorrhagia intrauterine devices Uh, because of uh, their male positioning or sometime it may embedded in myometrium it may leads to metrorrhagia in case of cesarean section scars defect sometime because of infection metrorrhagia may occur sometime hyperplasia of the cesarean section scar abnormality collection hematoma all these abnormalities may penetrate inside and it may cause metrorrhagia so this this list indicate the causes of the metrorrhagia uh, yes friend this was all about the metrorrhagia i'm sure now you will be able to understand the difference between the metrorrhagia and menorrhagia and beside this you will be able to differentiate the different causes for the metrorrhagia and uh, you will be able to pick all these points on the ultrasound imaging keeping in view the patient history keeping in view the patient's complaint you will go accordingly and search for all different pathologies on the ultrasound imaging so this was all about the metrorrhagia hope uh, this would be worth watching please memorize all these thing because practice uh, or repetition is the basis of memory we'll see each, uh, we'll see each other uh, in next video till then take, take great care of yourself see you then bye bye